This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Get three months free at the link in the description below. Hey guys, my name is Christian Taylor. Welcome back to Crayler Made, where I like to talk all things branding, marketing, and entrepreneurship. As a fellow entrepreneur, I always like to stress the importance of a password manager. Whether you're an entrepreneur or not, you need to have a password manager. And today we're gonna to be looking at some free ones. A few days ago, LastPass put out a press release announcing that they are crippling the free version of their password manager. They're introducing this confusing category system where free users will either have to pick between using LastPass on computers or mobile devices. If you pick computers, you'll be able to use LastPass on unlimited browsers running on desktops and laptops, but not any mobile devices. If you pick mobile devices, devices, you'll be able to use LastPass on your iPhone, Android phone, tablet, and smartwatch, but not your computer. If this sounds confusing, it is. LastPass even knows it's confusing. That's why they put actual examples in their press release to try and further clarify their new structure. This change is already bad enough. Most people in the world have both a computer and a phone, and they need to be able to access their password manager across these devices. But things get even worse. LastPass is removing email support for free users. I'm going to trust my precious passwords, credit card numbers, and social security numbers to be stored on your server, and I won't even have direct access to support? I don't think so. If you're a LastPass user, chances are you're either searching for a new password manager or you're just going to pay for LastPass. Now look, if you're either going to pay for LastPass or would be open to another paid option, I've got an entire comparison video dedicated to paid password managers. But if you need a free solution to keep track of your passwords, here are a few to consider. First, we're looking at my new recommended free password manager, and that's Bitwarden. I've got to come clean and say Bitwarden sort of wins this by default. It's miles ahead of other free options, but I personally think it used to be inferior to the old LastPass free plan. But since the LastPass free plan as we know it is a thing of the past, that leaves Bitwarden as the logical best option. So what can you do with Bitwarden? Well, you can have unlimited vault items, sync passwords across all devices, and have the option of self-hosting your vault. Bitwarden is an open source platform, so while they do offer secure in-house hosting for free, you could host it on your own server if that's your cup of tea. Bitwarden supports all the things, web, Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, Android, eight web browsers, and even command line. Oh, and Bitwarden even has a public contact form for support that reads, send us an email and we'll get back to you. Brilliant, isn't it? Too bad LastPass doesn't offer free email support. <laughs> Now, my beef with Bitwarden in the past was the uninspired user interface and some quirks with the autofill system. I wish Bitwarden had a more intuitive autofill system for handling multiple accounts on the same website, such as throwing up a browser prompt inviting you to select your preferred account, but instead it just fills the last used account on that website. There is a way to override this and fill the account you need, it's just an extra step to have to do, and I wish there was a little pop-up box when there's multiple accounts to ask you right away which account you want to use. However, I can tell you, every password manager, no matter how expensive it is, has quirks with its autofill system. It's just a hard thing to master. I've always felt the Bitwarden interface is a bit cluttered, especially the web version. But honestly, with how cluttered LastPass has become in recent years, Bitwarden is just better in some ways. I look at it this way. I believe every person needs a password manager. It's essential to protecting your digital life. If you can't afford a password manager or you just don't wanna pay for one, Bitwarden gives you everything you need. It's secure, functional, and practical. It might not be the most pretty, but who can complain for a $0 price tag? You get solid apps available on all platforms, cloud syncing, two-factor authentication, multiple vault items like credit cards and identities, password history, data breach protection, custom fields, and more. Honestly, Bitwarden is 100% as functional as 1Password and about 70% as polished. For context, I consider 1Password to be the best paid password manager on the market. Bitwarden does offer a premium version for $12 a year, and that allows you to access vault health reports, native two-factor code generation for sites, physical security keys as a 2FA option, and more. So if you're looking for a free password manager to jump to from LastPass, 
Bitwarden is hands down the best option. Bitwarden isn't the only free password manager to exist, so we're going to take a look at some other alternatives. Finding the right password manager for you is important, but that's not enough to protect your online privacy. This brings us to today's sponsor, ExpressVPN. Did you know that your internet service provider can legally sell your data to ad companies? They're watching everything you do. Every website you visit, everything you click, these corporations are constantly surveilling you and harvesting your data for their own agendas. ExpressVPN puts a stop to this by encrypting all your data and hiding your location. Not only does this protect your privacy, it also protects your security when you use public Wi-Fi. If you're chilling at a coffee shop, other people on the same Wi-Fi network can see what you're doing. And that's not only creepy, it's a huge security risk. I trust ExpressVPN because they don't keep logs of your browsing history, and their trusted server technology means that their VPN servers don't even have hard drives. If a VPN sounds kind of complicated, ExpressVPN is super simple. Download the app, click the power button, and boom, your data is secure. Visit the link in the description below to get three months of ExpressVPN free. Thanks to ExpressVPN for supporting the channel, and now let's take a look at some other free password managers. There's a lot of free password managers out there, but most of them have crippling limitations like the new LastPass free plan, making them unusable for most people. For example, I tried NPass. I heard it was a good free option, and it takes a unique approach to data storage. Instead of NPass hosting your vault, you host it yourself on your own iCloud, Dropbox, or Google Drive account. You may love or hate this idea. Personally, it makes me a bit nervous handling my own cloud syncing of my vault, but I think it's a cool option nonetheless. The problem with NPass is that the free version is limited to storing 10 items in your vault, or 25 items if you provide your email address and sign up for their email list. There's other freemium options like RoboForm and NordPass, but RoboForm doesn't allow syncing between devices in the free plan. NordPass comes in close, allowing unlimited entries and syncing across devices, but only one device can be active at a time. This means when you log in on your computer, you'll be logged out on your phone and vice versa. NordPass has a cleaner UI than Bitwarden, but it's got significantly less features and is much less practical for a free option. Even the premium version of NordPass has some big holes like the lack of password history, custom fields, and the inability to use a physical security key for two-factor authentication. One free option I like is MyKey. With MyKey, your vault is not stored on a server, and you can't store it on a server yourself, but passwords do still sync between devices. MyKey will automatically transfer new passwords from one device to all of your devices with MyKey active, but there's not a full copy of your vault on a server. So at least one device has to be online when you open the other device, and the passwords just transfer over. Some users may like this for security reasons. In my testing, the syncing is definitely sluggish and sometimes requires an app restart to force a sync, and the features of MyKey definitely don't match up to the flexibility of Bitwarden. Is it a cleaner interface? Sure, but it's missing some of the things I like to see, such as custom fields and password history. Still, I feel that MyKey is a good option if you don't want your passwords stored on a server. There's no crazy limitations with the free version, and it gets the job done fine for a basic password manager. I've also seen some comments asking me about KeePass, and look, if it floats your boat, go ahead and give it a try. But KeePass is too complicated for me, and it probably is for you too. There's no official Mac version, and a lot of the apps out there are third-party clients that interface with the vault file, which, by the way, you are responsible for hosting yourself on your own server. If you like KeePass and have fun with this kind of setup, go for it. But it's not something I can generally recommend due to its complexity. So in conclusion, if you're looking for the best free alternative to LastPass, you've got to check out Bitwarden. It's got literally every feature you could want in a password manager, and it's free, no catches. I have my gripes about the UI, but that's why I choose to pay for a password manager. If you want a free option, this is the best solution on the market. If you are looking for a free password manager where your passwords are stored offline, give MyKey a shot. And if you are open to paying for a password manager, I would still stay away from LastPass, 
unless you're paying for it out of pure convenience, I think 1Password is the best paid password manager available, and it's what I've been using for almost two years. Be sure to check out my ultimate password manager comparison video for info on other paid password managers, and don't forget to check out the link in the description below to get three months of ExpressVPN free. So which password manager do you use? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below, and if you like this video, do be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. With that said, I will catch you guys next time.